Hi friends. Today we're gonna to be making beef and broccoli with peppers. I, I'm, I'm making this video really quick because I've already made it like <laughs> yesterday, but I posted it on Facebook before I um, got, to, got a chance to make my YouTube. And on my um, Facebook, I made it with shrimp, but you know, it's optional. You could add, you know, basically chicken, shrimp, whatever you want. So here we have some peppers I cut up. We have some um, onions that I have. We have some dark soy sauce. We have minced garlic, pure um, sesame oil. We have some beef broth, some rice vinegar, some cornstarch, some broccoli, and you will need one egg. And you also will need one pound or one pound of flank steak, or you can use a ribeye. It's up to you. So, hey friends, let's cook. So here we have um, some ribeye that I cut against the grain and I added into my bowl. Into that bowl, you mix in one, um, in a separate cup, you mix up one egg and then you pour it into, right on top of the meat. And then you take um, one four teaspoon of fresh ginger, but I didn't have any fresh ginger, so I just used um, the seasoned ginger that comes in the drawer. It's up to you, whatever. And you also need to add um, some green onion to it, or you can add white onion, whatever you have at home. It's, I, I, I did both and I really didn't really taste a big difference. Until that, um, until your meat, you add one fourth cup of the rice wine vinegar, which is that, rice wine vinegar. You don't have to get a specific brand. You could just get anything, you know, what's on sale. And then also you add in um, two tablespoons of cornstarch, but you add in one tablespoon at a time. So just add one fact tablespoon of cornstarch and then you mix it all together. And then you add another tablespoon of cornstarch. And make sure you add your mint, two cloves of mint, two cloves of minced garlic, but I didn't have any fresh garlic, so I just used the minced garlic, you know, that you get from Sam's or any other store, any grocery store that you, you know, that you go to. So then you mix all of this up and then you put it in a bowl, you cover it and you put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to an hour. To me, the better, the, the longer it sits, the better it is. You basically are velveting the meat so it can be tender once you um, cook it in your stir fry so it can have like a restaurant type texture. So now I'm going to um, cut my broccoli florets off of here and then I'm going to put it in a boiling water that I have here. We're going to boil it for, when we're not going to boil it, we're going to blanch it for 30 seconds. And then we're going to take it out and we're going to put it into an um, ice bath. So I'm going to cut this up and I'm going to show you how I'm going to um, blanch it. So like I said, I'm going to add my broccoli into a boil, boiling water for 30 seconds. Just add them all in. So now, since I blanched and drained um, my broccoli, I'm going to add into this hot, I mean, into this ice bath. Just throw it right on in there. And we're going to um, sit it in here until it, until it gets cool so we can stop the cooking process. And we can keep that really cute um, green color. Okay. Okay, so now since our um, beef is marinating and our broccoli is in the water bath, we're going to work on our sauce for the um, beef, beef and broccoli. So right here I have one third cup of dark soy sauce. I mixed in two third cup of cups of beef broth, and I also mixed in two and a half pounds—I mean two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, and one fourth. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the um, slurry next. But you mix all of that stuff in together, and then to the side you add in in a different cup you add in two tables two tablespoons of cornstarch mixed with one fourth cup of cold water. And then you mix that all up together and then you add it until the um until your um dark soy sauce and your other ingredients and you just mix it up and sit it to the side and that's as that's as easy as the, i mean the sauce is really easy like i said it's the one third cup of dark soy sauce two thirds cup of beef broth two and a half um tablespoons of brown sugar one fourth one fourth um cup of cold water mixed with the corn starch but make sure you mix that together separately so you, this, that's gonna be like our thickening agent for it. Okay, so now we're gonna start working on our beef. Okay, now we're gonna start cooking our meat. I'm gonna add some um, olive oil to my pan. I already have my pan cooking on um, a medium heat. You don't wanna have it too high. So I'm gonna let this heat up before I add my meat to it.
This meal is really easy and simple to do. I just had to like recreate it really quick because I'm keeping a lot of um, inboxes on how did I make my beef and broccoli. Like I said, I made it before with shrimp. With shrimp, you can make it, you know, however you want. So yeah, we're gonna cook our beef. Want to continue to brown the meat, but you don't want to burn it. And then once our meat is done, that's when we're gonna add our uh, onions and vegetables to this. And you don't have to add peppers to this. I just like peppers and I like the um, taste that it gives. And it's also pretty. <laughs> and make sure you do you take your um, broccoli out of that ice bath and have it in like a strainer so you can get out, get rid of all that excess water. Now since my meat is brown, I'm gonna start adding my vegetables, vegetables to this. And off, off camera, I forgot to say that I added salt and pepper to um, my meat and I also added a little sesame oil. So now since our meat and um, vegetables are done, I'm going to take all of this out of this pot and put it into a separate um, bowl so I can um, start working on our sauce and pouring our sauce in here. So to our pan, I'm going to add the sauce that we made. Okay, we're going to cook our sauce down a little bit and let it get a, like, a little bit thick before we add the meat and um, broccoli to it. Okay, now it's time to add our meat to the um, pan. Okay, so we added our meat and you want to make sure you coat all your meat in your sauce. I'm going to add the broccoli to it. Basically, just want to coat everything and make sure everything is dressed. So it's really coming along really good. As you can see, everything is marrying together and our sauce is thickening up. The cornstarch is what helps the, um, the sauce get thick. And also, um, when I velveted my meat, the first time I did this, I didn't have rice wine vinegar. You don't have to have it, but I just think it makes the meat more tender. But yeah, it's almost done. As you can see, it looks really good. Okay, guys, it's done. And look how good it looks. And you can add, um, I cook some rice with mine. You can eat it like this or you, know, you can have some white rice like I did. But yeah, it's done. And it's so easy to make. And I'll put the um, ingredients in the description box for you guys. Thank you, friends, and enjoy the rest of your day.